Good morning everybody. Welcome to Suna M Design Knitting, Crochet, Embroidery and Weaving. At present moment, welcome to my backyard. This beautiful uh, spring day. So this is what I'm making. So it's pretty easy. The, ba the basic one. First you have to do the uh, weave. So you do four. Four long rectangle. I mean four vertical. For horizontal so you weave over under over under over under over under this is what it is over under over under over under so yeah and then after that you twine them with two strand of yarn you twine around it and then tuck it up very very tight and then you start making a pattern with the twining too it's a two color base so you can see the orange and green, uh, brown and uh, brown and uh, red, and then this one is uh, turquoise and uh, yellow, and now it's black and uh, red. So yeah, I'm gonna do twining away. Twining is very very easy. Make sure that two strands of yarn you fold in half. And this is based on uh, 4 by 4 so 16 16 20 uh, 16 32 4 All right, right 1 2 3 4 4 yeah 32 and then when you want to make bigger this uh, uh, based on four by four uh, weaving it make about five uh, approximately five inches of uh, base so just like a palm hand five inches and then if you want to do bigger you just add in add in so first you have to weave uh, four, 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 four. And then after that, two, 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 then one, 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 and then when you add add in, if you want bigger, you just add in to the one. To add in is very very easy. Ah, weave structure very good. I know I got the. Take the yarn like one handful, four in half, and then you just lay them like that. So when you twine, you just twine, twine, twine to the new one, and that's it. So I'm just thinking whether I want to do five inches or eight inches. If I do eight inches, I will show you how I add in. So yeah, gonna be a long while because um, I'm gonna do five rows. I counted seven rows per round like four when you start with four this consists of four so four of them is um seven uh one two three four five five rounds then uh, two is seven rounds and one is going to be seven rounds so yeah I'm finally happy with this kind of base because I tried so many for two weeks so I'm not happy with the base I'm not gonna do a video I'm happy with the base and I do a video twist and pull it up twist Pull it up.
this is a cotton uh, the warp or the spook is um, based on macrame cotton uh, loop 3 millimeter I'm very 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 happy with this uh, with this rope slightly expensive but um, it's very good and thick $17 per 200 meter so yeah I think 200 meter you can make five uh, basket I haven't made sure yet because I've been using quite a lot for practice so yeah I'm just gonna finish this one and then after that the the new row of 200 meter I want to measure it how many basket I can make first I have to learn to do the base because I do a lot a lot of base it's successful but it's not really really the way I like it so this is the first one that I really like so yeah I'm just twisting away doing a twining this basket based on twining Okay, when you finish twining, so you can see the, the warp showing, no worries, no panic, you just hold the warp, like that, and then you just push down, you have to use this, this is tapestry warp bobbins, I bought it from Etsy, I think $10 for pack of 10, so yeah, just pack it down. So you have to have this kind of thing, a pointing sharp, not really, really sharp, but you know what I mean, blunt, but, and push it down, pull the warp, pull the warp, i show you, pull the warp, and push it down. To make a round basket, you go 4x4, four 4 four vertical, 4 uh, horizontal, and then weave them um, uh, up, down, up, down, up, down. So, and then repeat the other one, down, up, down, up, down, up. So, it becomes like that. Right? And then, uh, when you want to go bigger, you just increase on the thing. But don't do more than 4 for, to, for the round. Because I try, I do 6. 
is become rectangle so no only four by four so total 32 uh, warp 32 spoke and then you increase on the last round of seven rows Can you hear the bird singing? It's beautiful. So yeah, see that? So when you finish uh, seven rows, it will go like that. And then you start doing the top one. So the top one, I want to try to do the twining uh, abstract. So I saw on the Pinterest, uh, this lady, uh, what's her name, Louis something. Louis Russell doing it. So I thought I'm going to try. So this one base will be 5 inches. Just as big as my, my palm big and my palm so that will be good for first time five inches the pattern will be like that so multi-color kind of thing so yeah guys if i hope you like it if you like it please hit subscribe button and like button i highly appreciate it this is called weaving twining twining basket Twining basket. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue seven rounds. So I got five more to do because it's two rows already. So just do all that. So I'm just gonna do it, and I put pause when I come back when the seven finish. 7 row finish I'll be back ok guys I finish every it's supposed to be 7 round but it's 6 round it start to go up like a bow you see that so yeah uh, this is will be approximately 5 inches so if you want bigger uh, you have to add in more spoke more more warp more string more cord whatever you call it so yeah because this is my first uh, basket so I thought I'm making 5 inches first I'm thinking 8 inches so 8 inches gonna be too long uh, to do it because I have to cut the string uh, and stuff like that the cord and stuff like that so yeah I'm not really sure should I do it 8 inches? Five inches uh, diameter.
it cool itself by itself. You see that? So it cool itself. So it's six round, not seven round. Six round for the last one. So if you don't want the thing, you just flare it out back and add in the more uh, spoke, more cord. So I'm just not really sure whether I should add in another one. Let me see. I got the cord here. Just take it out. Maybe every three, um, sorry, I'm just still thinking, should I make it like, um, space between every three time, every three, uh, warp, add in one, uh, spoke, new spoke. I think that's what I do. Is not what not no recycle okay um i decided to add in i show you all how to add in so it's pretty easy When you finish the last one, you got your yarn for the twining. You take the string, the cord, four and a half, four and a half. Get the four and a half thing. You lay on on top here, and you just twine away. Twine one. Twine again for the oh sorry twine again for the second one to attach it that's it this one already been attached yeah it's the same so yeah been attached you see that the thing is attached you twine them twice one here one here one on the left one on the right so twine and then you just continue twining the rest of the thing three three cord one or warp 
two, three, Okay, tie it up. Now add another one. Four in half. Get the folded one. Attach in here. Twine in. In here one. Twining again. adjust the thing make sure that they're same size yep same height just twine three more two three see that's how you attach it Can you see that the attachment here so yeah very easy twine we get another one. Attach it. Finally, it is. Attach. Twine. Go in. Twine again. Go in. Twine again. Twine again. Twine again. Three. Attach another one. See, already attached. You see that? Just twine away. Three. Attach another one. First twine first. Four in half. Make sure you balance. Yep. Twine again. Go to the right one. Twine again. Twine again. Twine again. Twine. We have to face new one. Attach it. And twine away.
then twine again go underneath pull it up and see that that's attached okay I'm sure that it's the same balance You see that? It's attached. Mm, just pull it up. I do it again. I just pull it up. Can. So just attach that much so I want to go. So you just continue in doing over and over and over again. Just put the head, lay the the yarn and then twine away. See that? Then join with the previous cord. Take another one, pull in half, attach it, you treat it like the same uh, previous warp or spoke, but you had to twine twice on this one. One on the left, one on the right. And then you just twine like normal. After you attach it, just twine like normal. Two. Three. So yeah, guys. That's already attached. You see that? See that? Attach. Treat like a normal warp. So this is gonna be like seven inches. A bit fiddly, but yeah, it, it will get it. Guy, uh, patient enough. Just a just simple twine, twine away. Two, three. 
pull it tight right attach you see that the attachment here so already attach and do again So yeah guys, if you like this channel, please hit subscribe button and like button. I highly appreciate it. My name is Serena. Welcome to Serena M Design. Knitting, crochet, embroidery and weaving. At present moment, we are at the backyard. Beautiful spring day today. In Sydney, Australia. Yeah, can you see that? Now it's flatter back. It's flat back. So yeah. This is definitely seven seven inches. That's it guys. This is how you do the basket uh base and twining. So like I said, it's four uh horizontal, four vertical, and then weave them um up down up down up down then down up down up down up and continue doing that then you twining around it and tighten it up so then after that you start doing the pattern of the twining so yeah if you like this video please hit subscribe button and like button i highly appreciate it my name is Serena. welcome to Serena m design Knitting, crochet, embroidery, and weaving. So like I say, macrame cord can be used also for the basket. So that's what I'm doing. So yeah, guys, take care. Have a good day. Bye.